Happening right now, Rhode Island's newly elected House Democrats are voting on whether they want Nick Mattiello to remain as House Speaker. Senate Democrats are also meeting to vote on their leadership choices. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live outside the Chapel Grill restaurant in Garden City in Cranston, where the House Democratic Caucus is meeting. Well, Mike, the Senate Democrats are meeting at the State House right now to choose their leadership. My colleague Ted Nisi is there, but the House Democrats are about to start meeting here at Chapel Grill in Cranston. There's a small number of protesters outside, and we're not allowed into this caucus. We were allowed in to the Senate caucus, so we will be out here waiting to see if House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello's colleagues want to want him to continue to be their leader. The effort to oppose Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello started before he was reelected on Tuesday. A group of state reps are working to try and convince colleagues to vote against him at a Democratic caucus Thursday night. Representative Deb Ruggiero says she believes the group has upwards of 20 no votes lined up. This is about the process. It's about transparency, about open government, it's about respect, and it's also about doing the people's business. We report to our constituents, and we should be able to vote on on bills the way we need to vote in our district and not worry about any kind of retribution. As a community, we are strong. Mattiello celebrated his victory against Steve Frias on Tuesday night. Earlier in the day, telling Eyewitness News he was still confident he had the support of the majority of his colleagues. If 75 25% are against you, there's 75% there and there's not that many Republicans. So we, we absolutely have the votes. And Speaker Mattiello, spokesperson, says he will come out and speak to us after the caucus. So we will bring that to you tonight at 10 and 11. Now remember, this is just the House Democrats choosing who they want their leader to be. But the Speaker is officially elected on the first day of the session in January. All 75 representatives, Democrats and Republicans, will get a vote. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.